Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 42 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Sora? Ah, I'm so upset about last week. Shalala! <laughs> Christ, that'll make Sora feel better. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and say this now, but we will talk more about it at the end of the episode. So, of course, yes, the new title for the new season of Pretty Cure has been released. It's been about a couple, a couple of good hours. It's been, well, I want to say about maybe, what, 12 to 13 hours since it's been released and such. Um, because originally I was supposed to watch this on Tuesday, but I got super busy. I'm now watching this Thursday morning. Um, so of course, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit more about it. My little predictions and everything else. And, you know, hopefully we get to see the looks of the characters in the next couple of weeks. By maybe by the third week leading up into Christmas, maybe. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm just, I'm, I'm excited, like always, because duh, more pretty here, but at the same time, like we've talked about, um, sad because my groups are leaving me, my babies are leaving me, and I don't want my babies leaving, and because we're so close to being done with this, and it just, it hurts even more, and y'all know me, I always get in the feels with this, I've been like this ever since Kitta Kitta. I've been like that before Kitta Kitta as well, but because I do reactions on it, it, it it's even worse. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. He done so well. Taking her out shopping. She looks so good. Oh, Sora. So, uh... <laughs> 
No, you look good. The outfits like suits her really well. <laughs> Oh, she looks like a model with those clothes on. It's something about the high waisted pants with the top. It's like a it's a sweater like top, but it looks so good on her. <laughs> and I'm guessing she's wearing booties. Of course, but at the same time, she wants to also talk to you because, of course, you're feeling down. What's on your mind? It's written all over your face. <laughs> you know you can talk to her about anything, right? Shh. <laughs> They're having a moment. <laughs> Subas. <laughs> That's my high cute baby. What's it? <laughs> oh god! Even when he's not here, he's here, and I miss him so much. Right, but... Mm-hmm. In a way, it is. Mm-hmm. And sometimes Sora is the only one who can get herself out of her own rut. You just gotta be there to support her. Mm-hmm. Even if that means, you know, letting her talk and you just listen. That's what friends do. Oh. 
Oh, well, that was short-lived. Only, like, ten minutes? I'm still very skeptical of Captain Shadow. Because, you know, I mean, especially with what last week dude said, you know, they're doing it for the person that they love. And it's like, who do you love? It's got to be a she. Yeah, maybe go get some ice cream, makeup. It's okay. Yeah, the five of you need to hang out. Oh. I mean, he's just out here walking like it's nobody's business. See, see, shalala, shalala, come on now. How did he freaking know that they were doing research on Kita Kita energy? Shalala, it's Captain Shalala. She's the, she's the bad guy. And if it, and if it is true, this is really gonna hurt Sora. Like, oh my God, they're making it obvious without it being obvious. You're still sucking yourself out. You just don't know what your answer is. And you have only this moment to find it. 
Mm-hmm. Even in, in the situation now. It's an interesting approach. You can't do anything unless you try. Because he has no reason to worry or hesitate. But not in the way that you are. All I'm going to say is, what she just said right now, I really hope that if Captain Shalala, 
is our ultimate black bad guy that she thinks about everything that she just said because it's really gonna change truly Because once again, signs are pointing to her. It, it's really obvious, once again, without it being superficially obvious. I mean, you know, because if we want to talk about this real quick, because Delicious Party, they ain't do that because of the fact is the character who ended up being the bad guy, he wasn't in every single episode or even mentioned as much. But for Captain Shalala, she has been a part of it, maybe I want to say 50% at the time. She hasn't been in every single episode. But it's interesting that the moment that Tsubasa and the rest of them talk to Captain Shalala about the Kira Kira energy, Scarehead comes in and he's over here like, oh, you trying to use like Kira Kira energy? And it's like the first thing you want to ask is, how do you know about that? But then you really want to sit back and think and be like, hmm, who was the last person we really, truly talked about, about Kita Kita Energy? So don't be surprised if in the next couple of weeks we find out it's her. And if it is, that's going to hurt my heart. And that's going to hurt Sora's heart. Because the person who he loves is also hurt. I think so too. Right, so yeah. Continuing as I said, I mean for Sora this was an interesting episode on her. I mean, I love the fact that once again, you have another episode with a pretty hair where she self-doubts herself and questions a lot of things, has almost a little bit of a depressing type of moment. Pretty hair is really now getting known for doing that with their characters. And I and really, I love that. It makes them more human instead of just one dimensional because it's like you can also relate to those moments and such. And so... I, I do love the fact that Captain Shadala did come, not only to, you know, get information, one, but two, also to talk to Sora and get her out of her rut, but at the same time, like I said, if Captain Shadala is our t truly bad guy for this series, when we do find out, it's not only going to hurt us, it's going to hurt Sora as a character because... She's looked up to her for so much. She's been in so many situations with her um, ever since. She looks at her as the way, once again, Deku looks at All Might as the number one hero in her life. And so if she finds out that she's a bad guy, everything that she's learned from her is going to make her look at everything different. How are you going to how are you going to go on? Bruh, like seriously. Pretty curious, what's she doing with this season? Oh my god. This like freaking um Hugato, Jesus. Uh baby going Super Saiyan. Okay, so with the way that this episode is going with this preview, it seems like we're now getting into, like, um, Mashido's finale with what... Well, we already know what she wants to do. She wants to be, you know, an art, a book artist, an illustrator, a book author and such for kids and everything. So I think this is now going to reach her conclusion on what she wants to be next week, especially with her finding out that Amanda, you know, but Amanda is... Mm, Try, pretending to be a human for the last couple episodes and such. So, of course, that's going to hurt her. Um, but, I mean, yeah. Like, something about the fact that we only have a certain more 
amount of weeks left with this because like number one we know the Christmas episode is coming up in the next few weeks because by this Saturday we'll be on the 2nd of December or the 3rd of December for Japan so we know we're going to see the Christmas episode at least I want to say let's look at the dates real quick um if Christmas is on Monday for us and that'll be um while it's still Sunday for us um we might get that Christmas episode either on the 16th or the 23rd. One of the two. We're, we're going to get it before the New Year comes in. Now, um, let's go ahead and talk about the other elephant in the room. So, of course, as I said, lovely little couple at several hours ago, um, the new logo was officially released, which we all knew... Um, something was coming something was in the works we just didn't know when it was gonna come out and such but something it, it literally came like oh my god when did i open my tweet for it i'm trying to look for it it's just because when you're on twitter and you like and retweet <laughs> so many things and then you tweet other things as well and it's down in like your freaking archives of everything um okay wonderful there we go found it so this came out about 12, 13 hours ago, officially. So the name of the new series is Wonderful Pretty Cure. So when I first saw the logo, of course the logo is this cute little, it's a bow um, with four colors. You got pink and purple and blue and green. I love the fact that they're bringing in a blue, I mean not a blue, a green. We are finally now getting another green cure in like the longest time because I feel like the last time that we essentially really got a green green cure, we're not talking about Cure Felice. Well, in a way, yeah, cure, we could say Cure Felice. So before Cure Felice, because you can't, you can't really put, I mean, I still put, you know, Parfait as a green myself, but I think the last green cure was March in um, Smile. So that's a long time away. Like to not have a cure, a green cure, like, I'm, and I mean it because of course they have their popular colors and everything and such, but it doesn't really, the color when I'm looking at it, it looks more like a lime, like a light lime green in a way, but it is still going to be a green cure. Um, it's interesting to see purple as well. So I think what we're going to see is a pink purple duo first and then the blue with the green as well as a duo. So it might be a whole season of duo. Now, when I saw this, because of course the first thing I saw were the paw print stuff. So I was instantly getting feels to um, Healing Good. And I was like, okay, another animal type thing. Just like, you know, with Kitty Kitty Pretty Carol Mode where um, that was very heavily influenced with Tokyo Mew Mew. As I remember in my videos going into like the first couple of weeks, I was like, yeah, like I'm getting very much Tokyo Mew Mew vibes with this. And I instantly got backlash, but I was like, but that was, everybody was saying that. And looking at this, I'm also getting Tokyo Mimi vibes with it too. But until I saw the exclamation point, the exclamation point is a dog tail. This is not going to be strictly an animal themed. This is going to be dog themed. And honestly, I am here for it. It's funny now because like when throughout the day, um, People were bringing pictures of all the dogs in the Pretty Cure series, and, and even Cure Takla, um, in it as well. And I was just, this is hilarious. Someone even drew um, Cure Black, but instead of Cure Black's face, it was Latte's face and such. So once again, the sky is the limit on what we're going to see with this. I honestly cannot wait to see what these outfits and characters really look like for these girls. I am also secretly still hoping that we do continue um, with what we started with this with a boy officially being in the team that we do see another boy in the mix. I mean, as much as I love my, you know, four girls or five girls or six girls or whatever, I would still, I love that dominant or that, you know, dynamic of having a guy 
on this team. I mean, he's he's paved the way. And so now it is continuously time to continue that legacy by passing on that torch and such. And obviously we're going back into officially a paint cure being the leader once again and such. So as we did talk about, uh, especially with the first episode of this series and such, that possibly when we eventually get to like maybe um, the 25th anniversary, that could be another time when they want to say, okay, we did blue, let's do orange and stuff going around and just passing that around. I think everybody would clearly like that. But I mean, yeah, I'm clearly excited for this. I think this is going to be really cool and interesting because of course, I mean, as someone who loves the hell out of Pretty Cure a lot, um, I'm always excited for a season, but definitely will be waiting for those first looks of the girls and maybe a boy again, um, when those leaks come out in the next few couple of weeks, because I, I hope, I would love to see if they're going to continue it. I do, I think also probably casting wise, um, that will probably be be released in the next up and coming weeks there are some people who i would love to see in this show as someone who also loves simple gear super freaking much i i can't say the person who i'm going to say now but fuck it i'm still going to say it so she's in the um uh, pretty cure full bloom series she plays bell and that aka the villain so i would really love her say you to get a chance um, and then of course the girl who plays Chris and the other girl from Civil Gear that I literally cannot rem remember her name for <laughs> to save my life and such because out of the Civil Gear family, they are the only ones who have not migrated into the Pretty Cure series. Yes, Belle who plays a villain is officially in, her Seiyu is in the Pretty Cure universe, but what I mean by that, they're not playing Pretty Cures. That's more what I want. You have three people from the Simple Gear series, aka freaking Cure Blossom, Cure Grace, and Cure Finale, um, all in this together. Those three Simple Gear users all in Pretty Cure. So continue that ish and bring her in here. Um, I would say if there's another girl who I could possibly even maybe think of as of right now, I do not also remember her name either. But the girl who plays Elizabeth in SAO, I would love to hear her in this as well. Because also, once again, literally every other girl in the group of, I'm not going to say harem, but the other girls who are also friends with Kirito and Asuna, they are also in here as Pretty Curious as well and such. And so that would be pretty interesting. You've already tied in the Kaguya-sama Love is War girls with Kaguya, Chika, and I all being in this Pretty Cure series as well and different things because, of course, Chika is Cure Milky, who is a fan favorite. Um, Kaguya is, of course, um, Majesty. And then I is um, Coral. So, duh. Um, I, I can't really think. The, the sky is the limit. I, I will say uh, Tomoyo Kurosara who played, um, <laughs> What's Her Face from Akudama Drive, aka my personal favorite series that she's been in besides Idol Master and everything else. Once again, this guy is the limit for any girl or even guy who was in this, of course. I would love to see veteran seiyus in this, um, also as well, new up and new up and coming seiyus in this series because, of course, that is going to pave the way into their starting career of being a seiyu and then of course having veterans in this series and joining in on the family it feels like a rite of passage especially for those big veteran seiyus because you see how they started in their journey of being a voice actress and then coming or actor and they come into this show that has a big all-star seiyu cast and it's commemorating like how far they've come to play iconic roles like this because we all know that everybody in pretty cure <laughs> eventually when they're done and they do something else and you know they get older they'll always be known for these roles regardless that's like a rite of passage and such but honestly whoever is in wonderful pretty cure of course i will definitely be excited because duh once again it's pretty cure I honestly cannot wait to see how it's going to go. 
like I said, hopefully in the next up and coming weeks, we do get to see more leaks and such. And then I think the next time, of course, when we do see leaks, we'll talk more um, about that. It's just because I was going to wait until episode 43 to talk about this, but because of the fact is I did not watch this, as I said in the beginning, I said, you know what, what the heck, let's go ahead and talk about this now, get it out of the way so that, you know, hey, it's here. And then, you know, everybody can be like, ah, oh, yeah, so she didn't forget about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 42 of Hitogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday or Sunday afternoon when I come home from work for episode 43. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.